Hi, this is Larry. What I'd like to talk to you today is about how to actually utilize the SQL Server Management Studio to develop your own queries with SQL statements. And I'm and part of this demonstration is just to show you how to do simple select statements on one table. So let's go with this. You open up SQL Server Management Studio, then you need to find the databases you're going to use. So in here we know we have my guitar database. So we want to use the My Guitar Database, Guitar Shop. And then you're going to need to make sure you know what tables are inside there. And these are the list of the different tables that are inside there. Okay. Uh, then we want to start as a new query, meaning a query is something you're going to utilize to get data out of the database. So if we go up here where it says New Query, right there where it says New Query, click on that. And a blank page comes up over here in the middle. And we can simply go in there and type our SQL statements. But before that, we have to declare what actual database we're using. By default, it always starts out with the master database. And if you go and click on it, you can see the different databases that are installed. We want to use, in this case, My Guitar Shop. Now, a simple select statement is basically something that's going to select data, uh, certain columns, from a, uh, a table and display it and have it as output. And to start out, the simplest way to begin is just to go select asterisk or star. Then go down to the next line, from, capitalize these letters, select and from, as beginning these lines, always. And then you want to select the table. In this case, I'm selecting the customer's table. and put a semicolon at the end to designate the end of that SQL statement. You see there's no errors or anything appearing, so we know it's good. And if I execute, go up here where it says execute button, I click on the execute button, and it runs. And it gives you the output down below here that was needed. There's more output than this to see all the data that was loaded into this table. Okay. Now let's say we want to create another one. I can keep creating the statements on here, but for assignments and other things you're going to be doing, you just copy, highlight this, and copy this, and put this into a, a document, a Google Doc that we're using for classes. All right. The submit. Uh, another statement, let's say well, I just want to go and find not all. What the select uh, asterisk does is find all the data that's in the database. In this case, we want to just look for basically uh, certain data. We want to look at the customer's first name, last name, and email address. So we go select first name, comma, separates the different columns because we're going by columns here. We're going to go by the columns here. So we want to put a comma between there, last name. And then here you don't need a comma. You just go to because it's not expected anymore. Just go to the next line. And here we do from. Now what from is, the first select is the columns. The from is the table. All right. So you go customers table. And then at the end, it's the end of my statement, I put a semicolon. So you can see now it says select first name, last name, customers. We want to run this. What do we click? Execute. And you can see it runs, it ran both of these. It ran the top one in the top window, and the bottom one in the bottom window. And you can see here we have the customer's first name and last name. But I forgot the uh, email address. Simply I can just go back up here and go, comma, email address. Okay, that's the last one I want. Always to put the things up here in select in the order you want it to appear on the output. In this case, I want first name, last name, email address in this order. Even though the database stores it as email address here, and way over here are the first and last names. So let's execute this and see what comes out. There you go. This time I have first name, last name, email address. And again, you can simply highlight these things and copy them and put them into a Google Doc to submit.